Welcome back. It's Yellowhammer Radio, Superstation 101, WYDE. Scott Chambers, Andrea Tice, Big Dave Richardson on the ones and twos. And joining us now on the program, I'm so excited to talk to this guy because it's been two weeks because of the flu. On the show with us is our local financial guru, Jeff Roberts. He's the founder of Jeff Roberts and Associates. And he and his team of seven advisors can help simplify your complex wealth management needs. They are exceptional finance advisor, financial advisors who have uh, provided sophisticated financial planning advice to high net worth clients for 131 combined years. Jeff Roberts, welcome back into Yellowhammer Radio. How are you, my friend? Man, you are alive from the dead, brother. It's good to have you back. Well, I am glad to be back, my good friend. I tell you what, I was under the weather, and uh, Andrea was too last week. She, yes. I gave her the flu as well, man. It was awful. Oh, did you both end up getting it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, kind of like good financial good. advice, it just starts spreading through all of your friends, you know? <laughs> all of your friends get it, and they, I want to be on board with that, but not the flu. You definitely don't. <laughs> not the flu. No way. No, not at all. Well, Jeff, it's good to hear your voice, my friend. You know, two weeks ago, you uh, you introduced your three-minute confident retirement check, which can be found at jeffrobertsandassociates.com. Now, since then, we've been drilling down on your confident retirement approach and its four principles so let's review that a little bit. What is the confident retirement approach, Jeff? Well, the Ameriprise Confident Retirement Approach gives a client a straightforward framework to create a sound retirement plan that provides income for a lifetime. And it's, it's designed around one key word clearly, and that is confidence. And we know that confidence is what everyone wants as they approach retirement or during retirement. And this approach to confidence uh, is built on four key principles. And we've, we've covered one previously, you're gonna cover another one today. The first is covering essentials, and that's having a guaranteed or stable income sources that can provide uh, income to cover the things we know we've got, we're gonna have uh, every single month, every single day. Expenses, utilities, food, transportation, place to live, roof over our head. Get that stuff covered so we have the confidence of knowing I've got my basics taken care of. The next in line is assuring lifestyle. That's making sure we have an investment portfolio created to do just that. We'll be talking about that today. The next piece is preparing for the unexpected, and that is the preparing for the certainty of uncertainty. We'll be talking about that next week, and then the last component, the last principle is leaving a legacy, and that is where you assure that your money goes where and when you want it. All right, Jeff, last week I was here. I was not sick, and I remember us covering the essentials and you detailing that out, which was very good, and that was basically the foundation for this pyramid that that you find on the website. So now tell us more about lifestyle expenses and, and drill down like you did before on this. Yeah, the, the life, ensuring lifestyle concept, um, these are all the things that you want to have or want to do so that you can enjoy the retirement that you work so hard for. And planning under the confident retirement approach means that we have um, we've already designed the basics for our essentials we've got that taken care of and now we want to design a portfolio specifically where we carve out and say this bucket is going to help us accomplish the fun stuff and there are four nice. steps to ensuring that we get those lifestyle expenses met it, fairly simple first is obvious estimating what our lifestyle expenses are. Guys, I cannot emphasize to you enough, the people that come in over and over and over and sit down, and they, they have not truly planned through the breakout of those expenses in retirement. Here are our core essential expenses. Here are our lifestyle expenses. And figuring that piece out, that is a specific conversation that has to be purposeful. Two, no question, yeah. Yeah, do determining the amount of money that's needed to make that happen. So if we know I'm making this up, you're going to have $40,000 in lifestyle expenses. Well, we can do the math and show you that might be a portfolio that literally takes $1.3 million in order to cover that every year. Wow. Again, and again, we can walk through the numbers more detail. The third piece is carving off that money 
that will send that desired amount of income. So not just identifying how much money, but now creating the income from that portfolio that will cover the expenses, and lastly, doing so in a tax-efficient way. Mm. Interesting. Our guest is Jeff Roberts with Jeff Roberts and Associates, just uh, talking about insuring lifestyle, and he just started giving examples of lifestyle expenses. So what are, give us some more examples, if you will, of lifestyle expenses. Is that like yeah, buying right. the new truck, buying the new boat, things like that? Absolutely. It can, and, it, and it can be the activities around that, like traveling, seeing the United States of the world, visiting grandchildren, dining out, uh, you know, uh, spending, you know, engagements or income on your hobbies or the things that you're really passionate about, vacations, gifts for family. Lifestyle expenses are all about the goals that likely fill the pages of your bucket list. That's gotcha. the lifestyle stuff. So that airplane I want to buy goes under lifestyle expenses. Not a necessity, Scott. <laughs> not yeah. a necessity not, right now. And that's a great point because it's not a part of those core fundamental essential expenses that you're going to have, but it's the fun stuff that you hope to have enough in your retirement plan that you can that you can enjoy, sure. Right. So I need to wait on it, essentially. <laughs> right. Now, gotcha. Jeff, last week you did a great job of just asking all the questions that are needed to be asked in order to accomplish the goal of the essential. So let's – what are the same type of risks that people face when it comes to ins- the ensuring the lifestyle, that, that level? Yeah. Perhaps the biggest is when we, when we take a look – at risks that people face, it's because they're not asking the right questions in advance. For example, how many years are we going to be in retirement? Now, again, this has to do with longevity, uh, and I'm going to throw out several at you, Andrea, but just to give you a couple here. Um, years in retirement, let me give you some statistics. If you're a male age 65 today, let's say you're, re- you're, you're going to retire and you're 65, there's a 50% probability that you're going to live to age 85 statistically, and there's a 25% chance you're going to live to 92. Now, if you're a female age 65, there's a 50% chance you're going to live to 88, and there's a 25% chance you're going to live to 94. Now, the thing you got to think about is let's take married couples because many people out there, it's a couple. Well, when you take the probability then of a couple, one of the two living to age 92, there's a 50% chance – that one of a couple lives to 92, Mm. and there's a 25% chance that one of the two, if you're age 65 today, 25% chance that one of you is going to go to 97. So you got to sit there and think, do I have enough at age 65 for me or my spouse to live 27 years comfortably in retirement? That's, That's a huge risk because follow me. Inflation averages for 90 years, it's averaged about 3%. And at 3%, that means expenses are going to double every 24 years approximately. So if you're going to be 65 wow. today, you're going to live until 92 or in the 90s, and there's 27 years. Well, you're literally going to have to have twice as much money paying for twice as much expenses over that period of time. That's a huge – and that's the piece that when I ask over and over, have you factored inflation into your long-term planning, most people say no. Yeah, you know, Jeff, like I said before, you ask these questions that people just don't even think about, and that one is – that's a killer almost. Like it just just overwhelms you when you realize you think you're going to retire at 65, but there's another 30-year span there possibly that you have to – That's huge. You, you talked about those risks there, and, and I hate to do this, but can we back up for just a second? I want to, you've made some wonderful points there, Jeff, but let's talk about some of the complexities. Why, how, how complex of an issue is this? Well, it's the, I love to explain this. This is complex stuff that is actually so easy that can be narrowed down just to proper planning conversations. And when you try and tackle this on your own, most of the time people don't even know what questions they're supposed to be asking mm-hmm. or the breadth of questions they're supposed to be asking. So uh, the message I like to communicate to people is just simply this. Don't, over, don't overcomplicate it in your mind, but just recognize that having somebody that is going to address all of the different areas for you 
of a sound financial plan to make sure that, so to speak, you're bulletproof. And that's what the confident retirement approach is designed to do. Like next week, we're going to talk about the complexity of, of risks and things that can throw us off track in retirement. Ah. And, and, and that's huge. But honestly, what a complexity that it, most people don't even think about is the concept of leaving the cookie on the table. Tom Hammett, one of the guys in my practice, references this. And that is if you've got a bucket of money, your nest egg, and it's set aside, it's leaving it alone. Don't go up there and tap it. We're, we're seeing right now where there's kind of the boomerang adult children. This is probably the most common thing that retirement yeah. people have is they end up using their assets to cover the boomerang adult kids that come back into their life financially, and they just yes, 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 and it puts their own retirement at risk, and they're not seeing it. Having a plan where we can show the financial impact of those decisions we're helping other people out, and it may be a good thing because we're going to talk about leaving a legacy uh, two weeks from now. We'll talk about that as a component, but if it's not planned and it, and it eats into either our essential expenses or our lifestyle and people aren't aware of it, it can be hugely taxing down the road. Absolutely. Man, these are fascinating points, and I appreciate you covering this today and helping our listeners out there. Now, Jeff, if anyone has an interest in getting help or they want to be more confident possibly towards, you know, their own retirement, what what do they need to do? Yeah, you know, they can always give us a buzz at 205-313-9150 or go to jeffrobertsonassociates.com, complete our three-minute confident retirement check, uh, or feel free to reach out to us electronically there. We're happy to help. All right, Jeff Roberts, Jeff Roberts and Associates, you are the man. Jeff, it's so good to talk to you again today, and I look forward to uh, learning more next week. Looking forward to it. All right, Jeff Thanks, Roberts, Jeff. Jeff Roberts and Associates. We're back right after this on Yellow Hammer Radio. On Yellow Hammer Radio.